Mambo vipi mtazamaji wangu popote pale unazidi kufuatilia double updates mimi na tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa niite Mr Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa Huyu judge Esther Maina inabidi tumuombe kwa sababu vita ambao anapigana sasa hivi sio rahisi Regarding a shag wa juzi kati akiwa Elgeo Marquet alisema kwamba um, alhamisi hii hapa sa sui nane na dakika ngapi atakuwa kule Supreme Court kwa matha kome kupeleka shahidi dhidi ya jaji huyo akidai kwamba Esther Maina ni miongoni mwa majaji ambao wana makesi nyingi sana na wanaomba sana pesa kutoka kwa watu ili kesi ziende wanavotaka watu lakini sio inavyotakikana sio kama unanielewa mtazamaji wangu anahisi kwamba Esther Maina ni miongoni mwa majaji wachafu zaidi kwa hiyo mwisho siku yeye anataka kama inawezekana basi atolewe najua hata wewe utakuwa unajiuliza swali hili hapa au kama hautakuwa unajiuliza then sasa hivi utaona umuhimu wa kujiuliza kwamba kwa nini Gashagwa sasa hivi ndo eti anataka kupeleka malalamishi yake au ushahidi fulani kuhusu huyu judge I think the reason why this is happening ni kwa sababu sasa hivi kuna watu ambao wanataka kuwatoa Unaona hawa majaji ambao wapo kuna baadhi ya watu ambao inabidi watolewe hapa ndio wao wa enjoy Unaona the same same thing ambao walikuwa wanafanyia kina Uhuru akina nani so the same same revenge ndio the same same thing ambayo itafanyika upande huu mwingine in fact kwa wale ambao kwa namna moja au nyingine walikataa kitu ambacho labda serikali ikiongozwa na William Samoruto na labda Rigathi Gashagwa yani kama kuna jaji yeyote ambaye kwa namna moja au nyingine alijaribu kucheza na kitu ambacho serikali ilikuwa inataka kufanya trust me sasa hivi inabidi ina, ina aombe tu yani aombe tu vitu viende vizuri kwa sababu they will do anything watafanya chochote ambacho wanaweza kufanya ili wakufukuze and ndo kitu ambacho kinaendelea jiulize kwa nini sasa hivi ndo gashago anaona kuna umuhimu wa kupeleka ushahidi kuhusu judge Esther ni kwa sababu ya, ya, ya unajua sasa hivi wanataka ku prove kwamba kweli kuna corruption hapo uh, uh, judiciary now it's it's not all about it kuna vitu fulani vyao vina vina vinasemekana kwamba haviwezekani au vinakwamishwa au vinakataliwa but so, but sasa hivi wanataka kuonyesha siko kama unanielewa sasa hivi wanataka kuonyesha watu kwamba ni kweli <laughs> huko kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yanaendelea cha ajabu ni kwamba kuna jamaa fulani ambaye tayari kwa sababu na nilimsikiliza Rigathi Gashagwa akiwa Elgeo Marquet akisema kwamba kama kuna yeyote ambaye pia ana ushahidi uh, kuhusu jaji yeyote au mfanyikazi yeyote tu wa judiciary anaweza akapeleka naye uh, ushahidi kwa kina Martha Kome huko ataangalia na wao watajua watafanyaje kuna mwingine tayari ameshajitokeza hapa and and, and, and nikusomee tu a trader named Kefa Kefa Odiero files a petition with Judicial Services Commission JSC against High Court Judge Esther Maina accusing her of demanding 2.5 million bribes to facilitate the lifting of uh, uh, preservation orders on his 53 shillings million uh, or 53 million Kenya shillings and the two high end motor vehicles by sending university student Anthony Manyara to convey her willingness to help with the case in exchange for the bribe unanipata so sasa hivi vitu kama hivi mtaviona nyingi sana so unajua sasa hivi jiulize mbona hivi ni vitu ambavyo havikuwa vinatoka nyuma au unataka kuniambia kwa sababu wetu sasa gashago anapeleka uh, uh, ushahidi eti sasa watu ndio wamepata nguvu ya kupeleka no kama una feel umekosewa see you can just do what what is required kama una feel Esther kuna namna fulani alikuchafua then you can do it any day any time sio lazima ungojee mtu mwingine apeleke ushahidi wake ndo we upeleke no i don't think kama inatakiwa kwa hivyo so hawa hawa ni watu tu ambao wanatumwa that, that's what i'm sure of 
hawa ni watu ambao wanatumwa like sasa hivi inabidi tushikane tumwangushe huyu Esther and wacha niwaambie ni kitu kimoja hapa mtu ambaye anaweza kuokoa Esther ni huyu Martha Komi so mimi kitu ambacho siko sure ni huyu Martha Komi atampigania huyu huyu Esther unajua watu wanavochukiana wana, wana kikazi unaweza kukuta wana beef flani yani furaha Martha Komi ni huyu mtu afukuzwe pia and serikali kitaka kukufanyia they will do hawa watu na wana uwezo wa kukufanyia chochote ambacho wanataka kufanya ni kitu ambacho wanatakiwa kuweka hapa kwenye kichwa chako they can do anything they want to do unanipata so kuna eh, eh, kuna mjomba fulani hapa nimemsikiliza akiongea uh, i think ni advocate wa um, ni ad, ad, advocate wa high court uh, ye yeah amesema kwamba miongoni mwa watu ambao wanafanya kazi kwa bidii sana ni Esther. Na anasema kwamba Manrigiji ana behave kama a village boy. Ndio nakutafutia hiyo clip hapa ni kuchezea usikize namna ambavyo anazungumzia swala la um, Esther na na, na Rigiji. Wamesema watamtetea kabisa uh, Esther. Esther na chapa kadi. And by the way kwa wale ambao wafahamu Esther, judge amefanya kazi for more than 30 years. So I think ye yeah, ni miongoni mwa wakongwe sana uh, kwenye judiciary. Kwa hiyo I don't know the reason why Gashago anataka ondolewe but um, labda kuna kitu anajaribu ku prove, kuna point anajaribu ku prove and it's that time lazima pia waaminishe watu kwamba kitu ambacho walikuwa wanazungumzia ilikuwa ni kitu real. Uh, so it's not even all about it kuna watu fulani hapa ambao ni hapana. Ah, Mwisho siku lazima wa create nafasi kwa watu wengine and that's what's happening. So na, nataka tumsikilize eh, huyu advocate kitu ambacho anakizungumzia kwa sababu na hisi pia ana point fulani hapa nzuri sana tumsikilize Because if he has any evidence he should submit it to the JSC to the Appeals Judicial Officer that is the most hard working judicial officer that we know she her uh, integrity is beyond question she's like sister's wife she's the most hard working and uh, she made that decision on the basis of facts and the law before her. But the, Mr. Kajawa knows that they manipulated the process after they acquired power <coughs> in the court of appeal and so in new affidavits. Kajawa should stop this nonsense. He is behaving like a village boy and he must stop it. He has to respect the judiciary. And I'm saying this because the next time we are going to appeal mean to campaign and theory Gachawa is impeached because he's too incompetent he doesn't know uh, how the arms of government operate he has no protocol he has no rules he has no guidelines he's just a rogue uh, state officer so we wish to defend the judicial officers particularly the judicial officer Gachawa has named I don't want to, to name her because that will be unfair I know she is hard working, her integrity is beyond question, and she has risen through ranks from an RM to chief magistrate and to the high court. So she has risen on merit, and she has a family, she has children. So it is very unfair for a state officer to just shout names of people on TV, not knowing that these are people with families, these are people with responsibilities, these are people with careers. So I wish to appeal to the CJ to be very firm on this log state of SARS and particularly to be very firm with Gachawa because it is no place for Gachawa in Kenya. It was an accident. For him to become a deputy president it was an accident. Let us okay. Uh, I think mem skills a jama uh anavo zungumza. You can you can just tell kwamba yeah. hapa hapa ni kubaya. Uh, there is something going on and i think alikuwa namjibu uh, rugedi gashagwa uh, siku mbili zilizopita ndo i think alikuwa anazungumzia uh, swala so hili hapa la um, uh, Esther Maina so i think hizi uh, ni drama ambazo mtaendelea kuziona kwa sababu jiulize mbona mbona zikwa zinakuja uh, sasa hivi ndo zinakuja so unajua hawa i think mission yao sasa hivi ni ku and, and muombe sana in fact kama kuna mtu atamuokoa na narudia, narudia tena kama kuna mtu ambaye atamuokoa Esther hapa ni Martha Kome na Martha Kome asikubali. 
asikubali kabisa iti hawa watu he wamuingize box alafu iwe sasa chochote ambacho kwa wanataka kinafanyika no itakuwa ni noma sana hiyo itakuwa ni noma sana wao wenyewe wanasema kabisa wanaheshimu namna ambavyo judiciary inataka kufanya kazi hatukatai at some point wanateleza na vitu vingi sana vinatokea and tumekuwa tukiviona hivyo vitu hapa but kama hawatakuwa wanagusa pande zote mbili then hatutakubaliana wananchi wenyewe hawezi wakakubaliana kwa sababu kama ni kama ni mbaya tu kwa upande wa kina Rigathi Gashagwa kina William Samoei Ruto and ikifanyika kwa upande mwingine unakuwa sawa then watu hawafai kabisa kukubaliana na vitu kama hivi ambavyo tunaviona hapa iwe ni kama ni mbaya ni mbaya pande zote mbili e, sio kwa upande moja tu ndio ikitokea kitu eti oh, oh inakuwa ni tena drama au stories nyingi sana mtazamaji wangu au sio so i think kwa uh, sasa hivi tu tu tungoje e, tusubiri tu tuone ni kitu kipi ambacho kitafanyika alhamis ambayo alizungumzia Rigathi Gashagwa e, ndo tuone kama ni kweli e, ata, atafukuzwa kama wanavyosema though najua sasa hivi wana wako chini wana wana wanapiga mahesabu tu ni namna gani watamuingiza e, kwenye kwenye moto e, huyu e, judge but let's wait and see uh, tuone ni kitu kipi ambacho kitafanyika nipe maoni yako hapo eh, chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye